eyes that right there. That's fine. Should be sport mod A main time. Here we go. Sport mods. That's Matt Mueller. Folks, that could be bad luck because he's fast. He's starting on the front could row. Could be J.C. Howell on the inside of that front row in the 103 machine. 48 is Bradley Poor. 66 is Nick Clinkenbeard, I believe is who that is. Nope, that's the 662 of Greg Frazier out of Joshua, Texas. Row number three is the 101 of Clint Pelzell. Next to him, the 41. Chad Hughes. Then it's the 55. That's the Rowdy Cupcake, Justin Shaw. Outside of him is the 88, Doug Easley from Haskell, Texas. Next row is the 66 of Nick Clinkenbeard out of Weatherford. That 30 and the car. 30. Sorry. That's David Sanford. Right here in Abilene. Next row back on the inside. Last night's feature winner, Gabe Tucker in the 95 machine. Next to him, last year's 2014 Sport Mod, Southern Sport Mod Points Champion. That's Chad Hurdle in the 59. The 10 car, that is Dustin Robinson from Post. The 37, Jeffrey Abbey from Comanche. The 42, Justin Long from Hazlitt. The 766, Shane Pretty from Abilene. The 98 car, Mike Watkins from Holly. The 91, Kyle Wisdom from Abilene. The 25, Terry Owen from Merkel. And the underdog, Gary Underwood, starting 20th in the number 99 machine. Here we go. Green flag waves, and we're underway. Good start for Howell. Leads him down into turn number one. Matt Mueller. Oh, Howell tight right to the middle of the corner. Mueller gets around outside of turn number two. Mueller down the back stretch into turn three. Your leader. Mueller tries to go back to the bottom. Howell looks like maybe checked up. Oh, there's some tangle going on. That looks like uh, Justin, Shaw. Justin Shaw. Gabe Tucker getting a little bank damage done on the sheet metal there. We got one lap in. One lap is complete. Uh-oh, contact on the back straightaway. 88 of Eastling and the 101 of, of uh, Pelzel. It's still Matt Mueller out front. Ben Pelzel in second spot. Bradley Poor in third. Frazier in fourth right now, the 662 machine. Doug Easterling rounds out the top five. Good battle for seventh on the racetrack. That is Clinkenbeard and Sanford. Clinkenbeard in the 66, Sanford there in the 30 machine. Hurdle. In the ninth spot, trying to crack that top ten. Last night's feature winner, Gabe Tucker, right now sits in 11th spot. So right behind him, the Comanche kid, Jeffrey Abbey in 12th. Matt Mueller, Bradley Poole pulling away just a little bit. We got a caution. Oh, we got a cool oh, contact right here. Coming out of turn four. That is a 41, I believe, of Chad Hughes. Is that the 98 maybe of Mike Watkins? I think you're right, Tony. I see a little 98 on the left corner there. Hughes was, Hughes was running up about 11th or 12th, somewhere around there, maybe 13th. Watkins running 18th or 19th there, maybe 16th. So probably Watkins had nowhere to go, couldn't miss that. Looks like Hughes able to get it rolling. That's damage awesome. on the right yeah. front, though. Yeah, it looks like it's from upper eight frame damage. Yep. Watkins not able to keep his rolling, so something probably wrong with that one, too. Nope. Just waiting for the crowd to go by, I guess. Got it fired back up. The blue and white number 98 machine under its own power. All right, so Matt Mueller, the 38 car, your leader at this moment. Now, tell a story about Matt. He was a, he's a former track champion here, but he was also leading the points one year when baseball season rolled around. His son's a big baseball player. He just quit racing right in the middle of a points championship lead and went to watch his son play baseball for a wow. few weeks in a row. So, uh, a good family man. Also, one of the guys. out, man. Yeah, tries to help you out when you need it. One of the good guys. Bradley Poor in second. 
the uh, Showtime Signs Design 48 car. I like that bright yellow. I don't even know if that's really yellow on that car, but that, I like the way that thing looks. The 103 of, of J.C. Howell. He's from Maybank, Texas. Then the 88 Easterling from Haskell, Texas, made his way up to, to fourth spot already. Gonna go green. Good Here we restart. Go. Good clean restart for the top four or five. Mueller on the loud pedal leads him to the green flag once again. Mueller way up the race for that time still maintains the lead. Bradley Poor can't quite get up there and get underneath him to get around him for the lead. Poor in second. J.C. Howell is third. Easterling in fourth. Frazier is fifth. Pelzel, the 101 machine in six, and it's Clinkin Beard, Hurdle, Sanford, and Shaw. Your top ten game. Tucker trying to crack that top ten to get around Shaw right now. battle right now for the sixth position between J.C. Howell and Chad Hurdle. Looks, or no, Melzell, excuse me, and Chad Hurdle. Looks like Melzell there sliding up the racetrack just a little bit to block Hurdle from getting around him, but here comes Clinkin Beard. It's a three-car battle for sixth on the racetrack right now. Ooh, Hurdle, Hurdle now shoots to the bottom. There's some contact for sure. Hurdle and Melzell. Melzell facing the wrong way. Hurdle was there. And Pelzel tried to cry it down. I think it's what happened right there. Lincoln Beard with nowhere to go. Only car that really stopped, looked like to me, was the 101 of Pelzel. The others kept them going as much as they could. McCorry sees something down there he needs to correct. All right, race fans, give us just a few seconds to get the line up straight. Your leader is Matt Mueller in the 38 machine. So, Matt Mueller, the black 38 machine, is still your leader. Then it's Bradley Poor, J.C. Howell, Doug Easterling, and, and Greg Frazier.
All right, so the judge has got them sorted back out there. Ten laps Single complete. File. We're blinking the green light. That means we're going to go green next time on the back straightaway. So Matt Mueller gets to start the race when he wants to. But if he gets to the orange cone and he's not going, we're going to race without him. So he'll start it somewhere between the middle of turns one and two to the orange cone. Remember, got to be single file when you get to the orange cone. Once again, 10 laps complete. We're going back underway. Matt Mueller leads him to the cone. Second spot, J.C. Howell is third. East coming in fourth. Greg Frazier fifth. Chad Hurdle, Nick Clinkenbeard, Sanford, Gabe Tucker, and Justin Shaw, your top ten. Bradley Poor slowly but surely reeling in the 38 of Mueller for the lead. Yes, sir. Bradley Poor looking good in that 48 machine, like you said, slowly but surely making it happen. He could touch him now if he wanted to. They're that close. Bradley Poor. I bet Matt knows he's there now. Oh, definitely. Matt Mueller definitely knows the 48 machine is underneath them as they come around quickly. Another lap down into turn number one. Matt Mueller still your leader, but not by much. Bradley Poor right on the bumper. Coming into turn three. Poor on the bottom. Mueller up top. Still, Mueller at the stripe, and that's where it counts. This is where Bradley's really strong, right through one and two and out of turn two. I know Matt knows he's there now. Good run down the back stretch. Yeah, they were probably looking at each other in the eye when they were going down the back stretch that time. Here comes Bradley Poor on the bottom. I don't, don't know who that had that lap. I don't know. That could have been Poor. I don't, I don't know that I would give it to Poor at the stripe. I'm glad I'm not judging this one. Mueller sideways just a little bit. Bradley Poor on the bottom once again with a good run. I'm definitely giving him the lead that bad. Bradley Poor leading that lap. Matt Mueller trying hard to come back on the outside. Third spot, still J.C. Howell. Fourth, Easterling. Then it's Greg Frazier in the top five. Matt Mueller with a really good run through the middle of three and four that time. A little bit loose out. Bradley Poor leads another one. That time, Poor with a great run out of two. Takes a little bit of an advantage. That time. Mueller working the top right now. Trying to make it happen, but Bradley Poor starting to pull away. About a four-car length advantage. Three-car length advantage. White flag going to be in the air this time by. There it is. White, White flag, flag in Bradley, the air. Bradley Poor, one left to go. Matt Mueller still second. J.C. Howell. Doug Easterling. And Greg Frazier, checkered flag going to be up this time. Bradley Poor going to take the win. Matt Mueller in second. J.C. Howell third. Doug Easterling, Greg Frazier in the top five. Then it was Nick Clinkenbeard sixth. Chad Hurdle seventh. Gabe Tucker eighth. Sanford, David Sanford in the 30 machine was ninth. All right, so Bradley Poor, there's your celebration. It kind of looked like a junior mini guy there spinning toward the infield <laughs> for a minute, but he was doing that on purpose. Going to get some chicken. The Coors Light, Evan Williams sponsored Hot Rod. That is a pretty race car. Showtime signs, the designs wrap that one. Wow, that was an impressive race, y'all. Give him a hand. Once again, folks, there's your winner, Bradley Poor, the 48 machine. Second spot, going to Matt Mueller. Third spot was J.C. Howell. Fourth was Doug Easterling. And fifth was the 662 of Greg Frazier. And any of those guys could have won that race. That's yes, how sir. fast they all were. Bradley Poor found him a nice groove on the bottom. Was, was just, uh, 
I don't want to say slow and steady, but it was definitely just steady and smooth. Very smooth, very smooth. I think that's always that's always the key. I tell you, uh, Bradley's daddy was a pretty smooth race car driver too. Won a lot of races, that, and uh, he looking more and more like his dad on the racetrack every time. Abilene Speedway, y'all make some noise for Bradley Poor. Yeah. Hey, Cody, secret. There he is, friends. folks. Bradley Poor. Bradley Poor gives a kiss to. Uh, is that is that the person who drew you the three, Bradley? <laughs> He's telling, thank you for drawing the three. That was a great starting spot for Bradley Poor. Good heat race, good draw. <laughs> Come on, Abilene Speedway, make some noise. And great A main finish for Bradley Poor, passing one of the one of the better uh, race cars, race drivers, and Matt Mueller. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't easy at all. Bradley Poor, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend behind Showtime signs. Showtime signs and design. Coming off with the victory tonight, impressive start, had a back and forth battle for the lead, finally got on top, stayed on top, and managed to win. Man, how do you feel right now? There, test, test one, two. Pretty stoked. Uh, you don't get many people tougher to beat than Matt Mueller. Uh, I think he's the best there is, so uh, I think that's pretty cool, and uh, uh, I, I, I can't, can't be any more thankful and happier than... Uh, than I am right now to all my sponsors. They pay for everything. I'm so so thankful to have Evan Williams and Coors Light, Abilene Powder Coating, Break A Operating, Just Dirt, uh, just everybody that helps me out, Lee Concrete. I've just got a, a lot of th uh, people to thank too. Kirk Hirschman and my wife and Layla and his wife Stacy and um, Brent couldn't be here this week. Clyde Gardner, my dad, and my grandpa, uh, they, they do it all. I don't do anything but just drive the car. So. That, that's that, that's why we're here, and uh, I'm very, very blessed and very thankful. Bradley Poor, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, man. Bradley Poor, congratulations from upstairs, man. Great race. All the top cars were nice and smooth today, man, and that's going to say a lot. When you watch the film, you're going to really like what you see, buddy. Looks like we're needing a push truck maybe over here for, for Clint Pelzel's 101 machine. He and Corey are chit-chatting with each other over here. Hey. Corey said something about his nails were broke and he had to go find a new. Uh, hey, new Corey, we're lady. trying to have some races here in case you didn't know, all right? 